Hello Internet, it's been a long time and I am here with a new series for ye too. I am going to build a forum with ye. All the code will be hosted on building a forum in ye repository. Uh, I have done uh, a few things before this lesson and that is I have run the composer command to create a basic application template for ye. Then I have created a database called forum and I have changed my DB connection information. So I have changed this to 127001. Normally it is localhost. I have changed the database name to forum. Those are the only things that I have done. Okay, so let's build a forum. I am going to use a DDD approach that is a test driven development approach. So we will be creating tests before we write code. Okay, so to get started, what do we need to create a forum? What does a forum have? Well, the forum has users, it has threads and replies. Those are the three things that the forum should have, must have actually. So let's create three migrations to create three tables for these three. So a migration is a file that you run to create database table. So let's do our first migration. So to create a migration, what you do is we migrate slash create and the name of the migration file. So I'm going to create user table. So ye our PHP framework asks us to create the table names singular so that the model files will also be singular because we don't want to call users model we want to call thread model reply model okay so keep it singular so create use table and yes i want to create the migration so the first migration is done the second migration uh the same command e migrate slash create create thread table and finally create reply table yes okay we have created our three migrations files so all these three migration files will be in the migrations directory okay so let's close this out um, let's minimize a little uh, let's okay the primary is already there so the use table will have for now a name and the name is going to be this string and it will be not now next we will have the email field and it's this basically the same thing and finally we will have password create at and updated at those are the fields that we are going to have so password created at the created at is going to be a timestamp so timestamp timestamp and it's going to have a default value of not same thing goes for updated it all right we are done so okay when running a migration you can migrate it safely up or safely down so when we are migrating we want to create the user table and if we are when we are down migrating down then we have we want to drop the table so that's why we have safe up and safe down two functions too next let's move on to the thread migration so the thread will have an id of course and a thread will have an owner so a user id so a user will be an integer so a user id will be integer integer and it is going to be not now a thread should have a must have a user so again a thread will have a title and of course a body the title is going to be a string 
and that can also not map so these are all required finally we are going to have a body body is going to be a text and that can be null i guess okay that is not required all right so for after that we should have the created an update i'm going to copy those two from this table migration and paste it here save us time time all right so this is a foreign key so we need to ask create the data uh, create the foreign key so first thing we need to create the index this create simple enough index then we want the name so idx normally it stands then the name of the table so thread then we say the column name use id that's the normal convention of naming an index then the table name uh, that is thread and finally we have user id the name i column that we want to create the index for okay so i'm going to add a comment here uh, saying uh, create index for thread uh, use id create index for use id column all right so we are going to next create the foreign key create foreign key Okay, so this let me scroll up a little so you can see this add foreign key foreign key then uh, we want the foreign key name so fk thread name of the table again then again the name of the column so that is the convention again we have well, we want the name of the table so thread finally we want user id the column name table the table that relates to this user user id that is the user table the parent table and in that parent table we have the id column and finally what do we want to do we want to cascade so if the user is deleted then we want to delete all his threads that covers the thread table all right all right now let's move on to the replies table okay so what will the reply have a reply will have will belong to a thread of course and I'll fill this rest it will have user ID of course the reply belongs to a user it will have a body and the body is going to be text and of course finally it will have a created at and update at so let me copy that from here and paste it okay so thread id is going to be an integer of course and it cannot be null same thing for user id all right okay now we have to do the same thing that we did here twice this is for one foreign key we want to create two foreign keys because the reply table has two foreign keys doesn't it it has the use foreign key and the thread foreign key so let's first do oops reply use id and we have reply reply those are the same and next let's do it for right oops undo okay now let's create for the thread id so this is thread id this is also thread ID create the index next we are going to create the foreign key thread 
ID. That's it. Okay, the foreign key. Okay. Now we want to drop the table. So when dropping the table, first we need to drop the foreign key, then the drop the index, and then drop the table. So let's do that. Okay, so first let's drop the foreign key. This drop foreign key. Okay. So the foreign key has the name of the foreign key. So first foreign key name is this. Let's copy that. Paste it. And of course the table name reply. Drop the foreign key from then we have to drop the index. So this drop index, simple enough and the name of the index up here and finally in the tape ply table all right okay so you have to do this for the other foreign key as well so let's copy this and paste so free foreign key thread ID and drop the index thread ID. All right, all this seems to be good. Now, final thing we have to do is run the migration. So, to run the migration, all you have to do is ye migrate. So, before running, I'll show you my database. We have nothing here. Let's run and yes. We want to create our three migrations and let's take a look refresh our tables all right we get a migration table here a reply table thread table and a user table and let's see check out the structure to see the foreign key see how we have a user id foreign key to the thread table and the reply table has two foreign keys the user id and the thread id okay that's it for this lesson so in the next lesson we are going to create models for these three tables and getting our hands dirty with the running the test for ye okay see you on the next one peace bye